Hey, welcome to Arm Animation. In this video, I will show eight benefits of using orange lines in a mesh edit. First one is that it allows you to grab them and move them in the setup pose. You can scale them and rotate using a moving pivot. Just move the point. Another benefit is um, loop edge. You can connect several points and close the ring and have maybe another one inside and then um, just hold shift and click on it. It will select the ring itself. No need to select every vertex. You can also select the edge similar way. Note that when it has intersection, it will stop there and give you control. So you decide where you want to go uh, to select next. This became even more powerful after a recent update in 4.2, where you can select similar way in weight view. Third benefit is that it gives you a little bit control over how Bind creates polygons. You can see we have two triangles. If I create uh, points, it creates triangles uh, and tries to be as minimum as possible. But sometimes you might want to change without even adding vertices. So maybe I want a triangle to go and be like this. For that, I will select and create orange line. If sometimes you have orange pixels, as I do here, you might have troubles by seeing them. You can click dim that will uh, dim the texture. So you can clearly see your points and vertices and everything inside the mesh. Fourth benefit is the weight smoothening. So when we do the weighting for the mesh, I'm gonna create a few vertices and bind it to any two bones. Now I will go select these two vertices and give them value full 100% for blue bone. Then I will select these four vertices and try to hit smooth. What will happen is actually these two vertices will blend their values, while these two will not. Let's see. As you can see, even they are closer, they did not blend together, while these ones did. So what's happening is lines to be edge. If I go back and create an orange line here, now if I select these two vertices and hit smooth, you will see the weight will be transferred. This is very helpful for long mesh attachments. Uh, as you can see in the middle, if you didn't have this one and you try to smoothen it, the edge will go and be smooth, while in the middle you will have still uh, original uh, after weights. If you have two vertices and you want to create the third one in the middle of them, there is no option for that, no snapping. But if you create an edge in the recent spine version, spine will snap it to the middle. Same happens for any edge. Hold shift if you want to disable snapping. You can also hold shift and that will lock your angles horizontally and vertically. The seventh benefit or maybe necessity is to use orange lines to delete a portion of the mesh. I'm gonna create four vertices here. Let's assume we want to delete this bottom section. I don't need that. So if I go and change to delete mode, I cannot delete this line. Even if I create a point here and try to delete it, it will still delete the point and not the line. So even in delete mode, you can drag and create orange lines. After you close the gap, Spine will afterwards allow you to delete it. The last benefit is wireframe. We have an option here, wireframe. If you enable it, you will see the mesh even if it's not selected. You can see it's a little bit dimmer, the nice thing is that you can see orange lines. So let's create a few of them and exit the mode. And here are they. This is helpful when you create bones over the mesh and you want some guidelines. So points are good, but sometimes you also want to see the topology. Maybe you want to create bone here or here. Anyway, let me know if you know more. Post in the comments. See you in the next video. Bye guys.